Florida crossed the 300,000 mark for coronavirus cases today. The overall positivity rate since the start of the pandemic has reached 11 percent. But scrutiny over reporting data is causing some to question how accurate that positively, positivity rate truly is. More than 450 labs are reporting 100 percent positivity in the state's latest report. Jake Stofan has been speaking with labs and hospitals trying to understand what happened. With the state's total positivity rate sitting at 11 percent, it's unlikely a testing facility would be reporting 100 percent positivity, but more than 450 have done so. The Department of Health has in part blamed the missing data on private labs failing to report negative results. We obtained this email sent by the Department of Health at 6 p.m. Tuesday, clarifying that negative test results do need to be reported. We spoke with a private lab, which asked to remain anonymous out of fear of retaliation from the department. The lab told us previous to that email, it had only been asked to report positive cases. We also spoke with a hospital, which again declined to provide an on-camera interview. The hospital said it has routinely reported positive and negative cases, but has experienced ongoing issues with the spreadsheet, sometimes missing positive cases and now missing its negatives. Of the more than 450 facilities with zero negative results, only 81 reported more than 10 total tests. In fact, the vast majority reported only a single test. With the state reporting 3.3 million tests statewide, the lab and hospital we spoke with both agreed, even as they go back to clear up the reporting errors, they find it unlikely it will make any significant change to the overall positivity rate. Reporting from the state capitol, Jake Stofan, Channel 4, the local station. The health department tells us it's currently trying to obtain corrected data from the labs. The department is still assessing what, if any, impact the corrected data will have on the state's overall positivity rate.